What's up, YouTube? It's Yardy Town. I'm doing that tongue. So we got the weekend update. It's the best thing to happen to SNL, and I'm a, I'm a fan of weekend update. So like, comment, subscribe, follow links in the description, and let's get into it, man. The World Health Organization is changing the name of monkeypox to mpox due to concerns that the original could be considered racist, which I didn't even really think was an issue. But now I'm just wondering, what's the N in N95? <laughs> Niggas in 95 Air Max. election, a record setting 12 states will have female governors. While, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, or as Fox News will report it, undocumented Africans won wild in streets of New York. <laughs> The Postal Service announced a new stamp honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's also a stamp honoring Clarence Thomas that says, flip me over and start licking. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo! Apple is saying that COVID in China... <laughs> saying that COVID in China has led to a slowdown in iPhone production. Wow. So I guess the new variant does affect children. I love this crowd. <laughs> a zoo in Atlanta will allow visitors to carry firearms. So you want to try laughing at me again, monkeys? <laughs> what happened to you, man? <laughs> A white student at the University of Kentucky was arrested after she was caught on video using a racial slur and assaulting two black students. She has been charged with one count of impersonating a police officer. <laughs> hey. Hey. Wool Light protects your favorites from hey. eating, hey. pilling, and stretching. Wool Light, protect Excuse what you love. Hey. President Biden signed a measure that would force railway workers to accept a deal that av averts a strike but does not include paid sick leave. Why do you expect Biden to care about sick leave when he shows up to work every day with full-blown CTE? We <laughs> have data. A 10-year-old boy in Florida faces misdemeanor battery charges after he allegedly touched a teacher's breast because under Florida law, students are required to he wait did. for their teacher to make the first... He's 10 years old! That's... Some boobies. Move. <laughs> a new study for the law. Students are required to wait for their teacher to make the first move. <laughs> a new study finds that during the pandemic, students' math scores dropped by almost 10%. Wow, so more than half. <laughs> An Apple factory in China is expected to cut production of iPhones by 6 million in response to ongoing worker protests. The workers' main demand is more playtime. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know, Apple head. Oh. I, that's, I'm shocked too, guys. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Since Elon um. Musk took over Twitter, use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. <laughs> It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. <laughs> NASA has released an image of the sun in which it appears to be smiling. So if the sun can smile, would it kill you ladies to try it? <laughs> The U.S. Air Force is denying that its pilots intentionally flew a flight path that created a giant penis pointed at Russia. <laughs> Even worse, they then fired missiles. This week marks the 40th anniversary of the classic Michael Jackson album, Thriller. And say what you will about Michael Jackson, but he definitely had a huge effect on a lot of people's childhoods. <laughs> You guys like yeah. <laughs> President Biden said that he plans to run again in 2024, but won't make a final no, no. decision Don't until early next year. 
because it's like his doctor told him, I wouldn't plan too far ahead. <laughs> Officer in New York State. <laughs> a police officer in New York State is being called the baby whisperer after he helped deliver his fifth baby in nine years. Only five babies yeah. in nine years, said Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, there you are. Okay. Thursday was National No Broad Day, which I celebrated by not supporting women. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana Delicious. users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words Made in America. <laughs> <laughs> Some parents uh, in Oregon are having large groups of their children ride their bikes to school at the same time in a formation they're calling a bike bus. And pedophiles are calling a buffet. <laughs> now all they have to do is launch some children to assemble it. China has launched the third... <laughs> China has launched the third and final module for its permanent space station. Now all they have to do is launch some children to assemble it. <laughs> Border officials have discovered $400,000 worth of meth hidden inside pumpkins. They could tell the pumpkins were full of meth because they only had like three teeth left. <laughs> Wednesday was National Coffee with a Cop Day. And something tells me cops like their coffee with a couple of shots in it. <laughs> Plan, Planned, Parenthood, Planned Parenthood says it will soon open its first mobile abortion clinic in the country, which will make it easier to provide care to patients anywhere in the country that Herschel Walker has visited. Police in Queens were searching for a suspect who hijacked a bus and then immediately crashed it into a utility pole. Okay, so we know it's a woman. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> Vir <laughs> Is that bad? Vir no, that's great. Pebbles, who was the world's oldest living dog, has died at the age of 22. But it's okay, his owners knew this was coming if they didn't keep him off my yard. <laughs> say that a report of a homeless man sleeping on a bench turned out to be a statue, which was a huge relief because they shot it 15 times. <laughs> no, police in China head. Southwest Airlines has changed their policy for emotional support animals and will now only allow cats and dogs on board, while over at Spirit, everyone's given a snake. <laughs> A man in Virginia is being called the greatest Uber driver ever after he and his teenage passenger got stuck in a snowstorm and he got a hotel room so she would be safe. Coincidentally, the worst Uber driver ever also brought his teenage passenger to a hotel room. <laughs> Scientists have trained a goldfish to drive a car. They believe it's the first step to eventually training women. <laughs> Hey, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yardy Tell, and I'm out, man.